Hello, hello, and welcome to my quick tutorial on the horizontal situation indicator. More specifically, this is going to be a quick demonstration of the Bendix King KI525A instrument. Now, if you haven't already seen it, I would highly recommend watching my tutorial on VOR navigation, as that will help you a lot in understanding how this instrument works. So without further ado, let's jump into a plane and take a look at this in action. Okay, so here we are up in the plane. We're actually flying towards Inverness just now. That's uh, Inverness Airport up in the distance there. So, um, let's talk about the uh, sort of heading and or what's known as a horizontal situation indicator. So, the first part of it works very similar to the heading indicator in the Cessna 172. You can see that we have a sort of a compass around the outside, and we have a little orange heading bug here. So, as you move the heading bug. I've got the autopilot enabled just now, and you see it will follow that. So it's very simple, it works exactly the same as the heading indicator in the 172. Now, the VOR aspect of it, so I'm just going to bring in the radio panel just now. I've already tuned in the Inverness ILS um, frequency there, so I'm just going to switch over to that just now. And you can see that we had some movement on the instrument here. Let's get rid of that. So you can see that the middle of the yellow line here actually indicates the um, the course that we need to fly or where we are relative to, to the course that we want to fly at the moment you can see that we're to the left of it now I've already turned the or I've already set the course to 055 which is the ILS approach uh, sort of course <coughs> for Inverness but you can see if you use the little knob on the left here that's how you can move your course around so I'll set that back to 055 for the ILS now to, so the, the yellow line in the middle gives us our sort of horizontal positioning uh, for the course. Now if you want to use it with an ILS system, you can see that we have two little yellow arrows on the either side with GS. So this actually represents the vertical uh, navigation for the glide slope. So at the moment, the glide slope is above us, which means we are below the glide slope. So we're in the, the best position to intercept both the localizer and the glide slope. So what we're going to do is we're just going to maintain this heading and then what should happen is once we get a bit closer to the course you should see that the middle of this yellow line will start to move closer towards the plane and what we want to do is make sure that this middle portion of the line ends up lining up with the sort of the arrow and the tail there and then we know that once that's all lined up in a straight line that's us on course to land. What I'm going to do just now is also uh, disable the autopilot and then fly the rest of this manually so have a look out there so what I'm also going to do is just start slowing down just to make it a little bit easier to uh, control just trimming the plane out so we maintain 2000 feet And this sort of um, picture that you see here with the middle of the line moving and the, the sort of the arrowhead and the tail staying static, you'll see this uh, same sort of instrument, the same sort of picture in some of the uh, sort of larger aircraft that you can fly, like with glass cockpits, you'll see that they all use like the same kind of picture rather than the um, old style VOR indicators where it's kind of one horizontal bar and one vertical bar which move. So you can see that the glide slope starting to come down now. So we're going to need to start getting prepared to descend, although I'm descending already, which I shouldn't be. So I put a stage of flaps out there just to help keep the speed down. Must be on the localizer now. So you can see the glide slope is still coming down, so we're still underneath it just now. There's movement on the uh, horizontal situation there, so we'll start turning towards the runway now. And that should almost be perfect. There we go. So you can see we're 
almost lined up perfectly now, went just a little bit beyond it there. But you can see we've got the runway directly ahead of us now. So I'm just going to try and maintain this altitude now until we uh, nail the glide slope. Get the landing gear out. And once the glide slope indicator has reached the middle, then we know that we're back on the glide slope. And then you can start to descend towards the runway there. So there you go, so that was a very quick demonstration of the um, horizontal situation indicator there. Uh, I hope it helped a few of you guys. As I said, it's just a quick little video, but um, hopefully, uh, hopefully it helps you understand how things work with it. So uh, that's all for now. Next video will be uh, on the Cessna Grand Caravan, so stay tuned for that. That'll be coming out uh, during the week next week. Take care out there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.